It's Diddy K and I'm back today with another video. Shout out to you for tuning in. If you're not subscribed, do me a favor and smash that subscribe button. I will be doing a giveaway when I get 50,000 subscribers. I know you're wondering in your head right now, what would I be giving away? I will be giving away $500. There's gonna be three places. First place, $250. Second place, $150. And third place, $100. I got my game from a scholar. In today's video, guess what? Uh, I know y'all see what's going on, baby. I don't want y'all see too much. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Y'all see that? We got our first contract in our Sprinter van. Now, in this video, I'm gonna tell you guys how we got the contract, what the company is called, and what we gonna do to go out there and ball. So stay tuned and stick around. We ain't playing around. Let's get right into it. Before we talk about the contract, I wanna say huge shout out to my guy, Tim. My guy, Tim, I met him when I was doing a Metro B order and we just chopping it up. He said, he's seen the YouTube channel, we chop it up. And then he told me that they have some companies out there that's around that area. So guess what? I took some notes, baby. And then guess what I did after that? One day I went out there to try to get me a son one order. It was super dry that day. I mean, nothing was going on. So what I decided to do is look up those companies he told me about and guess what? One was right around the corner, like eight minutes away, baby. So what I did was I called him say, hey, how you doing, sir? My name is Jerome. Uh, what I was told that you guys are looking for people who have Sprinter vans and you are giving out contracts. He said, absolutely, Jerome. What kind of van do you have? I said, I have a 2022 Mercedes Sprinter van, 170, 2500 with the high roof. I'm trying to be out here and be the truth, baby. He said, okay, I'll tell you what, you can come here between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. and we'll get everything situated. When you get here, you need to have your license, you need to have your insurance card, and you need to have your registration for those who hate. So guess what I did? <laughs> I sleep right on up there, baby. So I sleep right up there, and it was very simple and very easy. I'm gonna give you guys a breakdown, super simple. When I get to the warehouse, I walk in the front door. I say, hey, how you doing, ma'am? My name is Jerome. I called, and they said that you guys are giving out contracts for Sprinter vans, and I would like to apply. They said, absolutely, Jerome. <laughs> They gave me an application. I filled it out right there. My name, address, all my uh, information and everything. You're also gonna fill out a W-9 form. After that, I gave them my driver's license, I gave them my registration, and I gave them my insurance card. She said that the insurance card is not gonna work, so send her the declaration pages in the email. So I went right into State Farm, right in the app, baby. Went in there, sent it right to them, right? Then I sat there for about 15 minutes. Do -do 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 -do. 15 to 20 minutes, I sat there, right? Next thing you know, she said, okay, somebody will be out here soon to measure your van and also give you a interview. So somebody walked up, walked right up there with the tape measure. We walked to the van, we measured everything, measure how long it was, measure how tall it was to see how many pallets and how high, how high we can stack everything. Did that right there, right on the spot, baby. Right on the spot. Right after that, <coughs> We went right to the back room to do the interview. It really wasn't an interview. It was more so like a conversation on what's to be expected from the company, what the pay is and all that stuff. So I have the questions right here. Let me get it on my phone so we can go ahead and get it on. My nickname Rome and I'm rocking on the microphone. I'm gonna give you guys the question I asked them and I'm also gonna give you the answers they gave me so y'all already know when it's time for y'all to get busy. Here we go. Question number one. What type of deliveries do you guys do? They said they deliver machine parts and they also deliver printed materials. I don't know really what printed materials is, but that's what they, that's what they deliver, baby. Now, the second question is, is are there routes or is this on demand? They let me know that this is on demand so you can go out there and get them bands. Question number three, what is the typical amount of mileage you are gonna drive? They said it ranges, it depends. You might have to go here, you might have to go there. It all depends on what order you decide to take. Number four, what does the pay structure look like? They said that you get paid every other Monday. So you're gonna do all your work and everything, and then every other Monday, you will get paid and pull up with a new Escalade. The next question is, do I have to load or unload the freight? They said, absolutely not. You do not have to unload the freight or load the freight. And if you do have to load or unload the freight, guess what? We are gonna pay you some extra money for doing so. You gonna get some more dough. You gonna go out there and scope. The next question is, what days and times of the week are deliveries? Guess what? With this company, they are open 
24 7 with the Mac 11. They're over 24 7, baby. They're over 24 7. So there's deliveries all times of day, all times of night. You can go out there and get right. And I'm gonna throw a little jibble in there. Just so you guys know, with this company, they told me to give them a call every morning after 6 a.m. because that's when they do the shift switch. So second shift to third shift. So get them a call at 6 a.m. so you can go out there and get busy. Let them know you're available. And if they have any orders around you, they're gonna let you go out there and get busy. And I'm glad you guys are with me. Now, the next question is, do, this is a very important one. Do we get paid for deadhead mouths or is it just from pickup location to drop off location? Now, let me give you guys the breakdown. With this company, again, you do not get paid for deadhead mouths unless, let me say it again, unless you are traveling over 50 miles to the pickup. I'm gonna give you an example right now. Let me break it down and say it very slow so you guys understand. So, if you are at, mind you, this is from your house. So, if you are at home and the pickup location is 75 miles away from your house, you will not get paid for the first 50 miles you would get paid for the 25 miles after the 50 miles. So, in this example, you will be paid for 25 miles. Now, the 25 mile payout will be $12.50 because with this company, you get paid 50 cent per mile after the first 50 miles. You go out there and go wild. The next thing I know you wanna know right now, how much do you get paid per mile? With this company, you make a dollar and 20 cents per mile. That is going from the pickup location to the drop off location. But they also try to get you a load on the way back. And if they do happen to get you a load on the way back, you will receive 60 cents per mile for doing so. So if they get you a round trip load, you're gonna make a dollar and 20 cents on the way there. And on the way back, you're gonna make 60 cents enough money to pay the rent. Do I agree with that? I ain't gonna lie, I don't really like that like that, baby. Double me up, double me up. Give me 120 there, 120 back. But hey, most companies are not gonna pay you for coming back. Some of them pay for their hair miles, some of them pay less deadhead miles than others. It already depends on the company. Now, guess what, baby? They have two different types of order. We're gonna talk about the first one first. Number one is ASAP drop direct i mean just, you're gonna break it down a little bit baby asap drop direct that means that when you approve the order you are then going to go directly right when they give it to you directly to the pickup location and then after you get it you have to do four things too where you're there let me say let me let me give you the breakdown baby when you get to the pickup location you have to call them when you're on the site then after the freight is on board, you have to send them pictures of the freight locked down and everything, like strapped down and everything. And then you have to wait for them to say that everything is okay, you can go ahead and go to the drop off location. When you get to the delivery location, you have to call them again. And then once the POD is signed, the POD stands for proof of delivery is signed. It must be signed with their first and last name and it must be legible because we ain't trying to play no games. So, after you do that, you're gonna send them a picture of that, and then they're gonna tell you, you are good to go. That is ASAP, ASAP Drop Direct. Number two, number two is called ASAP Drop Next Day. Hey, it's kinda simple, baby. Plain and simple, ASAP Drop Next Day. You get the picture? I got it. So, I'm gonna break it down to you. With ASAP Drop Next Day, what you're gonna do is you're gonna approve the order then you are gonna go ahead and head to the pickup location. When you get to the pickup location, you still have to make those two calls. You're gonna make the call when you get on site, and then you are gonna make the call when you have the freight on board and everything strapped in. Then, the next day, you are gonna do the drop off. That's why it's called ASAP drop next day, because you're gonna drop it off the next day. When you get on site, you're gonna call them. And then, once you have the P.O.D., which is proof of delivery, signed and signature, and signed in there, printed and all that stuff, that is when you're gonna call them so you can leave. That is the second drop off, ASAP drop next day. Now I'm gonna give you guys what you all have been waiting for. I appreciate you staying tuned to the full video because sometimes people wanna skip the process, skip all that, they wanna do all that skipping stuff. But guess what? Do not tell anybody in the comments section what the company is let them do their own homework baby a lot of times people want to skip the process they want to skip they want to skip the video do all this. 
You have to put your own work in, so let them learn and let them earn. And if they mad, it ain't our concern, baby. Now, the company is called Bronco Logistics. This is how you spell it. B-R-O-N-C-O Logistics. Bronco Logistics, and if you're in the Chicagoland area, it is in Elk Grove Village, baby. So go ahead and go sign up so you can go out there and get them dividends and win and spend. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and smash the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up, but do not skip those ads. Do not forget, I will be doing a giveaway when I get 50K. 50K subscribers, I'm giving away 500. I'm going to see you show who's running. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Be going, be going, be flowing. You already know it, DDK. And I'm on my way.